What is it like going against Lamar in practice, Kyle? Uh, it is fun and terrible at the same time. Um, he is he is tough to deal with just from a practice perspective, and I don't even have to chase him around really like that, like like people do in the game. And I can't imagine uh, playing against him. He's probably the most versatile athlete in the world. Um, regardless of sport, it's just nobody does what they do in their specific sport like Lamar does. And um, that's something I'll tell to him. At the same time, I'm trying to keep him humble, too. So uh, if he throws a pick or something in practice, we're going to make a big deal out of it because it doesn't happen a lot. But I was just going against him. It's just a blessing to be on the same team and experience this. Yeah, I mean, there, there was a play against Cincinnati in that Thursday nighter um, where – the line of scrimmage was on the 12 and he faded back to the 32, like literally 20 yards back and then wound up putting the ball on the one yard line. Uh, And uh, you know, and again, I'm I'm sure you're not watching game copies back on film, but Al Michaels was at the mic and he, he said, name me somebody else in, in, in the league who can do that. And Kirk Herbstreit said, nobody. You know, to use a phrase, it was a very Harbaugh-like phrase. Like, no, he didn't say it like nobody, but it's the it's the truth, though, right? I mean, you you go against all all comers, but it is the truth. Nobody could do. Yeah, that. I think I'll I'll do even one better. I think there's not a person. I mean, he makes a play like that every single game, so it's it's something that when he makes that play, you're kind of asking yourself, I don't know if I could think of another person in the world that can make that play, let alone in football. I don't know about a basketball player or a baseball player or an accountant that can make that play. And um, he's one of one, literally one of one on this on this uh, planet. So it's just a blessing to have him on our team. He's going to win a lot of game for, games for us going down the stretch, has in, in the past and this season, and um, just excited to have him on the Ravens. What is it like standing on a sideline? I mean, how does that, how does that plays like that, moments like that, uh, MVP seasons like the one that he's had last year and he's following it up this year. What what does that do for you as a unit watching it, Kyle? You know, I think it it motivates the defense because most of the time we just got to do our job and we're going to win the game. Um, eight and all the guys on the offense side of the ball, and I can go down the list of talent on that side, but they're going to get the job done for the most part. And, um, you know, there's going to be games where they might struggle with and then the defense has to pick them up, but – I think as a defense, we're kind of going out there. Obviously, we want to dominate the game and want to hold them as little points, as little yards as possible. But it's like we just got to do our job, don't do anything spectacular, and we'll win the game just because of what the offense does. And then uh, before we get to your side of the football, nobody nobody tries to touch Derrick Henry during practice, right? That that doesn't happen, correct, Kyle? No? Uh, I think during camp a little bit. Okay. Everybody had to kind of test their temperature and see where they were at with that. You got to kind of – get it out of the way, um, hit him one time. And, you know, he may have some choice words and hmm. here and there, but I think it's, uh, at the same time, he's, uh, we're telling ourselves, he puts our pants, his pants on the same way we do, but, uh, his pants might be a little bigger. So the, uh, yes, I, I probably can confirm that. Um, did, did you ever get in the way of him or do you, you're like, oh, I've got a long career ahead of me. Let's not do that. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> I think during camp when we have the pads on, you know, I, I think I, I tagged him. I, I thudded him up one time or two times. And then, you know, that was my check that box for the year. So <laughs> if I'm here in camp, I'll do the same thing and I'll be good for 2025. Well, this photograph, let's just put it on the screen. I, I just couldn't imagine standing in that way right there. Like this one right here. This might have been one of his 80 yarders that he ripped off earlier this year. That that I, I'd see that that's nightmare fuel, man. I'm not lying. Yeah, I think, I think most people usually have their eyes closed at that point. When you get that close. Jeez. I mean, my goodness. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.